Hi, today we're going to take a look at what's inside this plastic heavy-duty box that we got from Denmark. So let's take a look. So as we've mentioned, this box came for us from Denmark. This came from Brothers and Sons. And this is the Pipeline Reporter Light Kit. The box itself is heavy-duty plastic. And let's open it up and see what we have inside. So this is the inside of the box. Now on this side we have the lights themselves. These are two pipeline, as the name uh, entails, two pipeline lights. We will take a look at them in a second. Here we have two small light stands, uh, basically manufactured by Manfrotto, as you can see from this uh, logo with an extender. So this is nice, you have another one here. And on this side we have all the power connectors. So we have different power connectors in this box for different countries. I think that this is Australia, I'm not sure uh, where this is supposed to go. Uh, but here you have the US one and we are using the European plug as you can see in here. Now this is the AC adapter itself has quite a decent cable so this is more or less what you get with the AC adapter but you also get two other extension cables so this is just a simple extension cable male and female quite long and here you have basically a splitter so you can have one of the cables uh, to go into here so for example you can use the extender to go into here and both of these can go each into one of the lights. Now when you use them in this configuration where this go, goes into the power and then you use the extension and then the splitter you don't have a lot of uh, potential separation between the two lights because this uh, splitter uh, cable is not very long. You can of course use it the other way around and, and then use basically the AC adapter cable and then the splitter and then use one of these cable to make at least one of the lights like this one of the lights further away from the other one but uh, to be honest in every configuration that you will choose at least one of the lights needs to be either very close to the other one or relatively close to the other one or close or both or, or one of them close to the uh, AC power so uh, this is kind of a downside but uh, it's possible that these are quite common extension cables so maybe you can find another one and then extend the whole kit and then basically makes this uh, much uh, basically set this up much further away from the uh, AC, from the wall basically. Now, uh, you don't have the option, at least not in the kit, to use this with a, a battery. We're not sure if you can actually do this. We have to uh, ask um, BBNS uh, if, if uh, you can use some sort of a battery to power them. But uh, I think that the intention of uh, the pipeline reporter is to be used either in the studio or, or on set where you have power and not uh, on location outside. Although I have to say that we have used them outside. We have a power uh, power connector uh, not very far away, so we use them outside. But basically they're not strong enough, they're not powerful enough to be used uh, outside either to overcome the sun or you know in a situation where you really don't have a lot of light. So indoors is where these lights are probably going to be used the most. Now from here on let's take a closer look at the lights themselves. So let's take a closer look at the pipeline reporter. As you can see this is quite thin. Now in terms of length this uh, light is about 30 centimeters in length or about 12 inches. So not very long. There are other longer versions. We'll talk about them a bit later. Not in this kit but sold separately. Uh, now what you have on the back, again you can see the metal frame here, is this uh, on-off and dimmer combined switch. So 
this is off and then you turn it on and it goes up to 100%. What you don't get here and we would actually like to see is some sort of a, either a tactile feedback or uh, some sort of a clicking sound when you turn this on. So you don't have this on this light but you do on some other lights which is kind of nice. Now on the bottom you have two things. Here you have basically the connector for the power. So there is where the power actually goes and you can see the light turns on like this. Okay. And you also have a quarter inch 20 in here for either connecting this into this mini tripod or basically any light stand or anything that has a quarter inch 20 connector. Now we would really like to see another quarter inch 20 connector here so you will be able to connect this both vertically from here and horizontally from here although you can probably use a clamp to do this as well. Now let's look at the front of the light and here inside this uh, piece is where all the action actually takes place. Now this light is very different from a lot of lights that we have tested, actually every light that we have tested so far because this is not a regular LED light. This is actually remote phosphor. Now we are going to talk more in depth about remote phosphor technology in the written review on LensVid and we'll also give you some links to more technical articles so you can read more about this if th this technology actually interests you but uh, really uh, shortly we can say that the remote phosphor or the way this light actually works is by using a series of blue LED lights which are basically underneath this part here and on top you have this this is not glass although it might look like that but it's actually very strong uh, piece of I think uh, plastic or uh, basically plastic like material with underneath it it has a remote phosphor layer. Now when the blue light hits this remote phosphor layer you get a very very uh, soft distribution of light that comes out of this light and this is really the biggest advantage of remote phosphor. It gives a very very nice very soft distribution of light which is very different than what you get from most I think LED lights which are quite hard. So this might not be as strong as some of the other LED light lights but uh, it's very very soft so this is really nice uh, and it's it's a very different way of uh, uh, the technology of the lighting uh, technology um, to actually work. Now what we wanted to say in terms of specification basically this specific LED light or this specific uh, pipeline reporter is 5600 Kelvin so it's kind of white uh, there are two other versions which are warmer. It has a CRI of 92 and a TLC of uh, even higher, I think 96, uh, which is another measurement of the quality of light. It uh, draws 10 watts, so both of them about 20 watts. And uh, in terms of uh, the power, I think it's about 1000 lumens uh, for this LED uh, light, which isn't a lot uh, for this relatively large uh, LED. There are smaller LEDs which are more powerful than this. So again, it's not super powerful, but the quality of light, as we're going to see in the next section, is really remarkable. So this is in terms of the two uh, LED lights that comes in this kit. You also get this uh, mini tripod, which is kind of nice, very simple. Uh, it comes from Manfrotto. It has this uh, section, this uh, um, part in the bottom which if you press it allows you to change the position of this entire thing. You can also remove this extension and just use it as a mini tripod on its own and you of course have two of them. Now from here on let's say uh, take a closer look at the actual performance of the pipeline reporter. So let's talk about the performance of the pipeline reporter and we have two of them here on the sides and we have our model here on the front and the reason why they are so close is that the pipeline reporter was at least initially developed at least in part for use with vloggers people who do video blogs and they would put the pipeline reporters light 
uh, on the sides of their screen and light them while they do the vlog. So this is a kind of an interesting uh, basically use for the pipeline reporter, but there are other uses as well. Obviously you can use them to uh, light products, macro photography, and maybe even for lighting a, a sort of a video situation where you do an interview and you don't have a lot of room and you need to place the lights very, very close to your subject where you don't have a place to put very large soft boxes further away. So this is also a use for the pipeline reporter. Now you can see now we're going to turn the lights on and in a second we're going to turn off the lights in the room so you can see how our subject is lit by the pipeline reporter and we are going to compare this to the Ginaray 7500T which we reviewed here recently so it's an interesting comparison and you can also see a comparison of how both lights uh, are doing in terms of color reproduction so you can see this right now and the the basically the Pipeline Reporter have very, very good color uh, rendition, if you like, or the uh, CRI is very, very high, and it, it's very nice. Now, you can also see now on the screen uh, a test that we have done in terms of the uh, light intensity and distribution. And this is interesting because you can see that the Pipeline Reporter is much, much weaker than the uh, Generate. 7500T, which is quite obvious from this uh, test, but uh, the basically the pipeline reporter has a very much uh, softer but also much wider angle of uh, light. It's 180 degrees uh, compared to, I think, a much narrower beam or angle of the Generate 7500T. So this is also important and depending on the application that you're going to use, uh, you should choose whether or not the pipeline reporter is the right light for you. But again, very, very soft light as you can see, used uh, from a closer distance than uh, maybe other regular conventional types of LEDs. Now, another thing that we wanted to mention is that if you are looking for something which is stronger, uh, BBNS has something different. They have a longer version uh, of a pipeline which is two feet, actually I think twice as long as the uh, kit that we have here, uh, which is nice. And they are also selling it in, I think, a kit of four. So this is another option. And if you're looking for something for a single light, which is more powerful, this light, the Pipeline Reporter Kit, has 10 LED lights inside, while the the other one, the other light that we're talking about has 48, uh, but it's also larger and obviously much more expensive. So it really depends on what you're looking for, but there are other types of remote phosphor lights from BBNS uh, that might fit, fit your needs. So let's go into the conclusion, talk a bit about pricing and a few other things. So let's sum things up. The Pipeline Reporter is a very unique light. It uses remote phosphor technology which gives you very high quality of light, a wide angle with great colors and very soft and evenly distributed light. On the downside, this is still a pretty new technology and it isn't exactly cheap. The Pipeline Reporter kit sells for around $850, although we have to say that the kit itself is beautifully made and the light is designed and produced in Denmark at very high standards, and it shows. So who should consider this light? We would say anybody who has the budget and is looking for a very soft light that can be used in tight places, typically indoors, although outdoors, outdoor lighting is also possible, as we will see in the second. We think that remote phosphor lighting holds a great promise for the lighting industry and we can't wait to test more powerful versions of this technology in the future. So this was our review of the BBNS pipeline reporter lighting, which you can now see lighting us. These are very, very effective lighting for interviews when you have a very restricted space just like this. As always, you can read the full review on lensvid.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you on the next video.